Welcome. In front of me is the Honor 7A, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on this device. So, as you will see soon, uh, once I choose a language and proceed, uh, you will see that this device is in fact locked. So let me just find English. There it is. And let's go to next, skip, agree. Um, now, you might want to proceed along with me because you will need to connect to Wi-Fi anyway for this to work. So as you can see, I'm right here where I need to connect. So I'm just going to put in password. Yeah, there we go. So I'm connected as you can see now. So you can connect as well and that's where you need to stop. I'm just going to progress further just to show that this device is locked. So there is no doubt in that and bypass. And there it is, <clears throat> verify your account. So once you connect to a network, uh, you can then hold the power key and just restart the device. Give it a moment once it boots up back up. Now, another thing that you will need for this <coughs> is a Microsoft account. You can always create it on their website. Just simply go to Microsoft and where you have to log in. If you don't have an account, just there should be a button to create one and follow their instructions on how to create it. So a uh, username and stuff like that. And then you will use it to log in uh, to Google on the device. Now you will see later on, once I actually get to this point, why this matters. So once you're on the screen, like I am right now, you want to take two fingers and just hold them on the screen. There we go. So you have the talk back. Now I'm gonna mute her because uh, it's kind of annoying. There we go. So now I can't hear it. So once you see this, after you hold your finger, two fingers on the screen, and now if it doesn't pop up uh, after just like 10 seconds, try it again. Just, just place two fingers on the screen and hold them without actually like scrolling or anything. Just hold them in single place till uh, till you see this up here. From here, draw an L on the screen, uh, not pressing anything, just draw an L like you just see me do, and this will pop up. From here, tap on TalkBack settings uh, once to select it like it is right now, and then double tap it to actually accept it. And now we're in the settings. Now, as you will also see, you can't really scroll. So what you want to do is hold volume up and down, both of these keys at the same time. Hold it till you feel the phone vibrate like it is right now, and you will see this pop up at the same time. So now again, tap on OK and then double tap to confirm it. And once more, hold volume up and down. And now you will see that the shortcuts are disabled. So you can now actually scroll on the display. You can normally use it. From here, scroll all the way down to help and feedback. And in the search field, type in Morse code. Or like this. And you will have the first pop-up, use Morse code. Set that. It will take you to right here, where you want to tap on the YouTube video, just so it starts loading. And then you'll see three little dots up here. And choose watch later. Now that is what we needed the internet for. From here, choose whatever video, it doesn't really matter. Just tap on the three dots under the video, whichever one, again, doesn't matter. Uh, and choose share. It will give you all the share options. From here, you want to choose Gmail. Stop on the Gmail. Uh, welcome, let's just skip this. And choose add account. And choose Outlook, Hotmail and Live. And that's where 
the Microsoft account comes in play. So just log in. Okay, let's proceed further. And now I'm gonna put in the password for it. So just do that off the screen. And choose sign in, and you'll see it signing in. Uh, keep in mind that the password is case sensitive, so if any of your letters were capital, uh, make sure that you put them in as such. And from here, just tap on next, doesn't really matter. Next. And take me to Gmail. So once you see the screen right here, tap again on the three dots, go into the settings. Again, tap on three dots account manage account and here you have the two options right here so choose accounts uh, the first icon right here double tap it and it will take you to the actual settings of the device so once you have the settings open uh, you want to go into security and privacy tap on more device administrators choose find my device and deactivate that so deactivate And now we can go back and go back once more. And again, in the main page of settings, scroll down to system, choose reset and tap on reset all settings. And confirm it by tapping on the bottom, reset settings. And once more, And the process is finished. So once the little spinning logo is gone, um, the settings have been reset. So now you want to hold power key and choose again, restart, tap on it again, and let the device restart. Now, keep in mind that once you see the home screen, you're still not done. Uh, we need to do one more thing. So, uh, so just be patient. Basically, we're gonna once we have access to home screen, we're going to go there and we're going to perform a hard reset of the device, but in a way that will remove all the previous data from the device. So the device then will be fully unlocked. Now, as you can see, we're now on the home screen. So from here, let's go into the settings. Scroll down to system, about phone, and tap seven times on build number right here. Till you see the message, you are now a developer. So now you can go back and you'll see a new option right here, developer options, go to it and OEM unlocking, enable this, enable, go back. And again, from the system, choose reset. And this time you wanna choose factory data reset right here. Confirm it, reset phone, and again, reset phone. And now the process will begin removing basically all the data from the device, including all the previous accounts and all the backdrop that has been left over from them after the first reset that was blocking us in the beginning. Um, and once it's done, we can then, we should be then back in the setup screen, but this time we can just skip network connection and there won't be any, uh, any account uh, verification needed. It will be just a, like a new device. So I'll be back once this process is finished. 
and yeah, then I will finish up the setup of the device. And as you can see now the process is finished, so let me quickly go through the setup. I'm gonna primarily skip through most of this uh, just to get through it as quick as possible. Uh, but you can now set up your device as however you like because everything is working just fine now. So just choose. Skip. Agree. Agree. And as you can see, I can skip the Wi-Fi connection, which normally if the device is locked, you cannot. And the button is just completely gone, so I'm just gonna tap this. Uh, it's also gonna save time on setting up the device. It's gonna skip finding backups and stuff like that and uh, logging into Google. Just skip this, not now. Skip and get started. And you can see, I went to the setup process without any kind of verification, without connecting to network, everything works. And just as an additional thing, I can connect to network, no problem as well. So that is completely not a problem. Just let me take the device off the screen. Connect. Okay, there we go. So you can see I'm connected to network, no problem, and everything is working just fine. So that is how you would bypass the Google verification. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.